Hi there, only five days left till game day, which starts January 2nd at 6.20 a.m. Pacific Time. And right now, you are watching the pregame. Day trading is risky, so learn a strategy like mine and practice it in a simulator like I'm about to do right now. And thank you for joining me here at EVA Trades. It is October 11th in the simulator, five minutes to go until the market opens. Now let's take a look at the charts. I have four stocks this morning that I am currently watching, pulled right off the gap scan. Three of those you can see in front of you right now. These are the one in the five minute time frames for each ticker. I have DICE, LASE, in J-O-B-Y. On the other screen over here, I have APRN. So let's break these charts down a little bit. We're consolidating here sideways on APRN on the five minute time frame. If you look at the 15, right here, we can see we have a 15 minute equilibrium with the high of the move, the low of the pullback, a lower high. Bulls looking for a higher low somewhere anywhere above 248. Psychological 250 there. Getting back to the five minute time frame on that now, you can see right here that we had this five minute, uh, nice five minute breakout here. Bulls looking to hold 256. Um, giving back all of that move off of this low is uh, kind of bearish, but we'll see. You know, bears, bears would be looking for a bounce up towards the VWAP before breaking down a little lower or just plowing straight through whichever comes comes first and of course bulls want to get back over 274 and 279 and eventually break the pre-market high of 288 so d-i-d-i-c-e the leading gapper in the market this morning 50 dollars that's an expensive stock. I don't typically trade stocks that high priced. It's okay though. I have proprietary software that I've written that I can use to manage my risk in such situations. But I still have to keep in mind that with a, a higher priced stock, we have wider spreads, typically. So we have this rounding action on this one. You see this kind of, we, we made this move up and now we started to flatten out, we're flattening out, we're flattening out. So now we're sitting right here on the VWAP, the level that a lot of traders look at. On the hourly time frame, it's an inside bar right now. It looks to me like we should consolidate. Now, I'm not saying that we will, but you think that we'd pull back below this candle here. maybe on a two bar pullback or something, especially with this red volume here coming in. What time is it? Okay, we have a minute and a half till the bell rings. Okay. So that like over here, you see on J-O-B-Y on the hourly time frame, we have a two bar pullback. And LASE here, this looks like a pretty good move. To me, um, we had an inside bar and now you got this inside bar and it's looking like it's favoring the bulls for a bull break above that level. Let's see what that looks like here on the five minute, okay? I could put a line there also. And so we've been trying to break this 273 level once, twice. How many times have we tried to break it? So we have an equilibrium, high, low, lower, high. Uh, bulls wanna hold 258. Anything above 258 is still a higher low as we attempt to see a flat top breakout scenario. You see uh, you have a flat top, bulls getting continuous higher lows on the way up. Yes, yeah, so you have this line here. So bulls winning, but we'll see what we get. If it's gonna break, it might do it right at the open. So I don't know exactly. Interesting level down here at $40-ish on DICE. Might be a good bounce opportunity right there. 
Okay, and then looking over here, it is 629. Boy, I gotta get moving here. We have definitely some support down around this area. Five minute downtrend, lower highs, lower lows. Bulls wanna hold 435. And break 454. To reverse, to confirm, uh, a 15 minute higher low, bulls are gonna need to change the five minute trend in their favor with higher lows and higher highs. We'll see what we can do on the one minute here first off. As the market is open now, let's see if LASE can break that flat top first thing. There it goes. Breaking through 275. Nice break. I'd be interested in a trade on LASE if it can hold this level. I'm not looking to get into a trade on DICE yet. Keeping an eye on the clock. <clears throat> so it's holding that level, but it's breaking a little higher than I'd like. 16 cents on that candle. I'm gonna increase my stop parameters to maybe 10 cents. So if I get in it, my stop loss will be 10 cents below my entry. And let's see what happens here. I'll buy that dip right there a couple times. I'll add to it there. I'm jumping in over here on DICE. But I'm looking for a quick trade on DICE and I might have missed it already. Oops, I was gonna sell it right then and then it dropped back down. Now looking pretty good. There we go, looking really good. D-I-C-E, just selling it all right there. So let's see if L-A-S-E can get back up. It's not looking as good as it was. So I'm going to sell it all right there. And with that, I'm up over 200 bucks and I have to stop. I hit my daily goal just like that. Sorry about the snap in the mic. I hope I didn't break your eardrums. So, hey, two minutes into the day and I'm done. I hit my daily goal. That's my, that's my plan. And uh, <clears throat> it's unfortunate because I think LASE has a lot of potential. I would love to buy it right there. Oh, I was just going to actually. Let's let's just do it just because it's really strong looking. And then I'll sell it right there. Just make a quick 20 bucks, right? That's nice. Look at that move. And there's a nice pullback to this daily level or here, this previous high of day. Oh, I'm chomping at the bits to want to trade it, but no, I'm going to stick to my plan. I already took a trade there that I shouldn't have. $156 plus $80 is 236 on the day. So that certainly will help in the overall scheme of things. All right, that's it. Short and sweet. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next video coming up very soon. Bye-bye now.